The medal I'm going to show you today is one I'm particularly proud of, and it's not for climbing crazy high mountains or running ridiculous long distances. This medal is one which anyone can go for, especially if you enjoy the triathlon distances. And stay tuned to the end because I'm going to explain to you exactly the process you need to go through in order to get it. In episode one of Medal Monday, I talked you through my London Marathon medal collection. And if you'd like to see that episode, that is linked just up there. Grabbing a London Marathon finishers medal is one of three steps that you will need to take on the road to the ultimate prize. I've been lucky enough to complete five London marathons and one virtual London. But for this episode, I thought I would show you my first ever London Marathon medal. That's from 2015. It was an absolutely freezing year and I didn't quite manage to make my goal of three hours, 15 minutes, but three hours, 18 was perfectly acceptable. The next thing you're going to have to do is cycle 100 miles. Specifically, you need to take part in the Ride London 100 mile race. Established as a London Olympics legacy event, the race is now in its 10th year and I took part in 2018. The ride takes in the classic climbs of Box Hill and Leith Hill in Surrey. Unfortunately, despite it being in July, it absolutely poured down for most of the race. I got soaked and I was very nervous on some of the descents with other riders speeding past me in the rain. But I enjoyed it and I finished on the mall in front of Buckingham Palace in 6 hours and 42 minutes and I got this medal for my Ride London 100 race. If you are enjoying the video or finding it useful or interesting then please do hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. It would really help us out. Thank you so much. The final piece of the puzzle is the swim and you'll need to complete the two mile swim serpentine event in Hyde Park. I had to make a mad dash from Scotland on a sweltering day having DNF'd the Ben Nevis Ultra the day before. The serpentine lake in Hyde Park is not the cleanest and I dread to think how much swan feces I swam through or swallowed in that two mile swim. But I made it to the end and when I got out of the water I was presented with the two mile swim serpentine medal. But also the London Classics medal. And here it is. It's big but it's not too big. It's chunky, it's heavy and I am really proud of it. To get yours, you need to do all three of the events I've mentioned, but you can do them in any order and in different years. It doesn't have to be in the same year. So head to the London Classics website where you can read more about it and register. You can register after you've completed two events and you've secured your place for the third. This will ensure that you're presented with your London Classics medal when you cross the finish line of your final event. I've put a link to the London Classics website in the description below and if you'd like to watch my rather wet Ride London 100 video then you can click that link right there. In the meantime, we'll see you on the start line of the next one. Take care, bye bye.